guys, this is Pam. Welcome back to another video. I am back with another awesome review uh, from the house of uh, Gun Lang. Uh, this is another exceptional piece. I just did a review of Imagine um, by Bijum Khan 2023 from the house of Gun Lang. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. So today we are doing uh, Pearl. Um, it's an exceptional piece. So Gerlang actually does this special, exclusive pieces that they do. Uh, so they have their different collections. They have the Le Legendaire, and then they have the L'Arte La Matière, and they, of course they have their Masculine and Aqua Allegoria, all of that. But they also have uh, this collection where they feature some uh, exclusive scent or they feature uh, a scent that they already release in their regular collections but they put it in a special bee bottle so as we all know the, the um, their special bottles or the bee bottles that you can even customize with your own perfume if you go to their website but having said all of that today we are here for pearl this is um from this year 2024 in fact i want to want i want to read you about it on fragrantica oh it's so sad it's only got 2.91 on fragrantica i don't really pay attention to those but uh i think i disagree with that 2.91 out of five as of today um all right so this is by uh fragrance this fragrance the nose behind this fragrance is theory wasser Top note is bergamot, middle notes are fig and powdery notes, base notes are sandalwood, leather, leather and myrrh. I'm so sorry. Alright, so let's see. This 2024 vintage marks the inaugural edition paying homage to the luminous beauty of pearls and their emblematic meaning. Merging expertise with innovation, the classic flacon Ozabeye or Ozabe is transformed beautifully. So it, they're talking about the bee bottle. It's transformed beautifully, encased in a layer of pearly white cabochon, creatively enhanced with sparkling crystals from Swarovski. This unique fragrance, with its distinct powdery essence, invites you to embark on a sensory journey bridging the East and the West. So I have been wearing this today. Um, I don't really get a lot of the powdery uh, nest that they're talking about. As captivating as the crystals that embellish its bottle, this distinctive scent begins with a bright burst of bergamot, leading to a heart of rich, enticing fig, evoking as the allure of a pearl. The fragrance concludes on a powdery note. Drawing inspiration from the east through a foundation of sandalwood accented by myrrh and hints of leather. Okay, so let me show you the bottle first. How about that? How about let's show you the bottle first? I've actually done an unboxing of this one as a short, but I haven't really found a chance to edit it yet. Beautiful presentation, of course. Yeah, I got this one. Main my main purpose for getting this thing is as part of my collection because I love the House of Garlang. Uh, so this one is actually hold on, hold on, where is it? Where is it? There you go. So this is actually not like stiff. It's very, it's in a, like a piece of fabric that, that's very soft. Um, in fact, you can like you can even like do that. I mean, you don't have to, but. It's not, it's not like, it's not like it's glued on whatsoever. It's just the pearls that's glued on to the fabric that they have. Um, and once again, this bee bottle is, how big is this one? I think it's 125. Yep, it's 125 and this is a numbered piece. So they're limited editions. They're exceptional pieces as they call it. They're all numbered. It depends on the exceptional piece. They all have different limit on how much they produce. So this particular one, I have, oh my goodness, um, I can't read the handwriting. It's something like J O twenty four, 
1605 something like that omg i can't read it so this is a 2024 edition i don't know if it's something they have produced in the past i have only become aware of the exceptional pieces for the last couple of years i was not aware they make this exceptional pieces um and this is the first time that i have started buying them i i just ordered the the muge 2024 as well i have not gotten it it should be here anytime this week and i'm excited for that one that is also a blind buy. blind buy this pearl pearl perfume is also a blind buy but i do that because once again i collect perfumes i collect things that i like um this is specifically for the bottle i really really like it and i have no doubt it's gonna be good anyways um same thing with the imagine that i just spoke about and reviewed all right so going back to the perfume going back to the notes um Okay, top note is bergamot, middle notes are fig and powdery notes, base notes are sandalwood, leather, and mirror. I don't really get a lot of that. To me, I just get like a scent. I don't really get specific notes. And once again, when you order this one, um, it also comes with this sprayer because this, you cannot spray it, it's just a dabber. And it comes with this one that you can keep refilling with the funnel here. I'm just not gonna take it off. It's kind of uh, stuck in place over there. So, so that one. All right. So this one is a sprayer. The sprayer is pretty nice. So this one actually it was a love at first sniff for me. Let's try that again. Okay, beautiful sprayer. Uh, not too misty, not too aggressive. Pretty wide, just, just wide enough. Uh, okay, so I did not even pay attention to the fig until I read the notes. Before I read the notes, I wasn't picking up fig, but now that I read the notes, now I pick it up. Um, so this is actually the first time I'm reading the notes. Uh, I, I, I just got the perfume. I just like, oh my god, it's so pretty, I need to have it. Uh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm I'm picking it up now. It's 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 very fruity. The fig is fruity, more than it is green. And fig to me sometimes it can get very sappy. So this to me is more of like just like a juicy fig. It's very nice. It's a very juicy and very fruity alongside that bergamot top uh, note. It's very nice. So this to me is more of like a um, dressy type of scent like if you're a man like suit and tie type of scent and i know and I, I, when i review perfumes i don't really talk about like where to wear a, where what or what occasions to wear a certain perfume but this to me i mean i'm still gonna wear this and it's it, mean, whatever whenever i want but it makes me think of like going to a ball in a very nice dress uh, like a nice cocktail dress or like a long gown and if you're a man then like suit and tie just black black tuxedo or black suit the fig in here is actually very fruity instead of it being too green or too sappy it does have those qualities a little bit but not too much to me it's more of like it's almost like bubble gummy it's fruity a little bit of that bubble gumminess to it which is super nice um um what else yeah i actually pick up a little bit of lavender in there like a lavender mixed with rose it's not listed in the notes but that's just what i smell that's just what i pick up it reminds me a little bit as soon as i spread it and smelled it it reminds me a little bit of Alexandria 2 by Zerjoff. Now that one is beast mode and very in your face and overpowering. So this is giving me that kind of vibe scent wise, but it's very light. It's like if the Alexandria 2 by Zerjoff is Eau de Parfum, which it is, this would be like it's Eau de Toilette or like a flanker to it. 
I actually have found or uh, have come across a lot of perfumes that has lots of potential, but it always it would remind me of Alexandria too, and I was like, well, if it reminds me of that and Alexandria too is better, then I would rather stick to that. So yeah, I I, I just want to point that out that if you you are familiar with that perfume, it reminded me of that. Now they are still very different, because this to me. Uh, gives me that fruity vibe. It has fig that you definitely get a sense of. Uh, at first, I was I was like, what is that smell uh, that I'm picking up? And now, having read the notes, uh, uh, it 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 makes sense. It makes sense that that is the fig. Uh, it does sit quiet. So, uh, it sits close to your skin. It's a little uh, quiet. It's not as bombastic. As you would expect it to be because like scent wise you were like this is something that could be a little strong but it's actually not um, it's very nice super unisex um, again I was talking about it being dressed up it does make me think of that although you can wear your perfume regardless like if you feel like you're wearing it just wear it uh, you don't have to part like to me I don't I, don't believe in waiting for a special occasion to wear, to wear perfume. Well, that's about it. Um, I definitely enjoy wearing this perfume. Super duper nice. Uh, it gives me that... It de would definitely give you that girlang DNA, the girly nod. It's... Okay, maybe it's a little powdery, although I don't get a lot of it. Maybe it's a little powdery. Um... Again, it's enveloping. It's very cozy. It feels be it feels a very kind of uh, put together and sophisticated. Um, I like the bottle, actually. You know, I love how dainty it is. It is elegant yet simplistic. It's like a it's like a it's like a quiet luxury, as some would put it. Yeah, it, it definitely gives me that vibe. Men, women can both wear it. Dress up casual. I mean, just wear it if you feel like it. I really, really, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. Super nice. Um, yeah, I'm happy to have it in my collection. I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. And if you have, please click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye.